Leading the Way. Have letter number 5665. May 29, 2016. It is so easy for my children to pounce upon trouble. You feel the weight of trouble so easily. As trouble enters the room you sit in, it seems to punch you in your gut, and, at your say so, trouble lingers in your heart. It may take a long time for trouble to ease out from your heart. You check on trouble quite readily. Trouble becomes like a roast you have in the oven that, no matter how long you cook it, it doesn't seem to get done. You often take a peek at it. May it be this easy for blessings in the world to overtake you in this way. Be on the lookout for happiness. Consider that there is more happiness waiting for you than there is trouble egging you on. Trouble seems to come in bright red and orange colors whereas happiness wears pastel colors. Happiness, unless it is overwhelming, seems to retire to the background while trouble yells out at you, gotcha. Look at me. The pastels of happiness, on the other hand, mostly smile at you quietly. Happiness is more like a pin dropping, whereas trouble is like a ton of bricks falling. Perhaps a scale is necessary to weigh happiness versus trouble. Perhaps trouble doesn't really weigh as much as you think. Maybe you are just more ready for trouble than you are prepared to look for happiness. Trouble is more recognizable to you. It seems that you carry trouble in your heart more easily than you do happiness. Perhaps you expect trouble to last, and happiness to flee. Yes, of course, trouble, when it appears suddenly, knocks you over. It is as though you prepare a guest room for trouble. You are certain trouble will visit you. You seem to have great faith in trouble. Your guest room for happiness, even as you crave happiness, may be last minute and catch as catch can. You may see a big heavy door with a big sign hanging on the doorknob that reads trouble. You leave the door unlocked. This door is of easy access. You may also see a smaller door with a little sign called happiness. Perhaps the sign, hung on the knob with string, has turned itself around, and you can read the sign only when you walk right up to it and turn the sign around so you can see it. For the most part, happiness seems to blend in with your day, while trouble makes sure you get clabbered. Trouble calls out, I'm coming after you. I am always just around the corner. Brace yourself. Trouble makes a big impression. Happiness may not be quite so clear-cut. Happiness prefers to work from inside out. Happiness greets you more likely the way a lady or gentleman greets you. Happiness is much more refined. Happiness is more inclined to rest in your favor. Trouble doesn't trouble itself about manners. In the relative world, what appeared as trouble in the past may now have a lighter side to it. In retrospect, you may even look kindly on it. There was no doubt that, when you broke your leg, this was trouble. Now you may remember how much love and care you received, all the friends who came to see you and wrote nice messages on your cast. You may even look upon that time as a good time. So much in your life depends upon the angle from which you look at it. You can see that trouble has something to do with time and time struts its stuff. Trouble and happiness both appear according to your stance and your sense of time. Not for one moment of time am I denying how gigantic trouble appears when it lands on you. You, yourself, in time may take another look at it and modify your position. Rally happiness to you. Count on happiness. Count on it that happiness is seeking you. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org